The Spotlight, shining a light on podcasts and videos that have caught our attention. Hi, and welcome to The Spotlight. I'm Jen Spiker, and today I'm highlighting a video you'll find on the Vision app. But the conversation was originally from Vision's national breakfast show, Rise and Shine. Each weekday morning, the Rise and Shine crew fire up the studio with a lot of fun, some interesting guests, useful real-life biblical insight, plus positive music to get your day going in the right direction. A recent guest on the program was the upcoming Christian artist, Bay Turner. Bay's debut single, Brand New, was released recently, and he explained to Phil that it's truly a miracle that his music career was able to begin. The Spotlight with Jen Spiker. G'day, Bay. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited to be here with you virtually in Australia. Oh, I'm, this is so fun. I think I said that very American, Australia. Oh, no, it's say good. It again? Australia. Can you say that? Australia. Oh, there Australia. you go. And if I say, I have a couple words. Yes, go. That I think Do it. In the accent. Yes. Okay, so I can say razor blades, well, that's rise of light. <laughs> very good. That's rise important. If you come, you're going to need okay. that word. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then somebody told me, wait, how do I say it? Baking powder? Baking, baking powder. powder? Is it baking powder? Because <laughs> we say baking powder. You know, well, so different. Anyway. So different. If you can say g'day, I think you'll be fine. G'day. G'day. Have you got any Aussie connections? Like, have you been here? Have you eaten a Tim Tam or Vegemite or anything? <laughs> I don't even know what a Tim Tam is. <gasps> that is um, terrible. So my pastors are um, from Australia. So. Oh. They were with Planet Shakers, and they're here in Nashville now. So, Oh, fantastic. And we're talking to you in Nashville this morning? Yes. Yeah, I'm coming to you from Nashville. And it's, what time is it here? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. So it's your nighttime, my morning. We're bookending yes. the day. You know, tomorrow looks great for you. It's a beautiful day once you get there. Oh, thank you. Glad to know it from the future. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> now, Bay, <laughs> one thing we've been loving is your new song, Brand New. It's a couple months old now, so I don't know if we can change the title to Fairly New for you, but uh, at the moment it's still brand new. I noticed on Instagram that you were getting people to rate the song, and so oh, yeah. I thought I would do that for you from Australia. I give it a 10 out of 10. Okay. 10s across the board. 10s baby. across the board. I'm so happy. <laughs> I noticed that everyone gave you 10 or 9.8 or something. So obviously it's everyone's Not loving everyone. it. Not everyone. Not everyone. we got some bloopers. We're going to have to release some bloopers. You so better. Well, somebody said that it was a five because it was too happy. And I'm like, well, if that's the case, <laughs> give me a five then because I'm happy. <laughs> well, I was just thankful that it was a brilliant song because it would have been embarrassing for me to put a five on the paper at the beginning of the interview. So um, I was glad I could honestly give it a 10 out of 10. We love it. It's oh, a fabulous thank song. I'm so glad. Thank you for playing it. I'm oh, so glad you love it. And we're playing it heaps. So it's, um, it's a fabulous song. But I also love hearing your story. And uh, people might yeah. not be aware, if I'm right, did you start in the opera? Yes. Tell us about yes, that. Yeah, yeah. How did you, what happened? You know, honestly, it was an accident, if I'm keeping it real. I know that sounds very airheaded, but I was not really – I mean, I loved – I played sports. I played soccer my whole life, and I was, you know, pretty good at school. I graduated top 10%, but I just didn't care about anything else but music. Right. So I, when I went to university, I went for music, and I showed up on the first day, and they're like, here you go. Here's a French aria, <laughs> an Italian aria, oh. a German aria. A Russian aria. I mean, it was like 12 different languages, oh. 12 different arias, and I just had to learn how to do it, and I oh. enjoyed it. I had a really good time, but I think after I began to get into the actual ins and outs of the career, yeah. which it is the most incredible, beautiful art form. There's no microphones. You have to learn how to amplify your voice. Wow. You guys have the Sydney Opera House, which was a bucket list to come and sing at, um, but there is there's just something about it that just didn't quite sit right with me. And okay. I think it was because the whole entire thing is about self-glorification, how high I can sing and how long I can sing and how well I can do it. And that's not my heart. So wow. I turned the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn something from opera though? Like I imagine that there'd be some great yes. skills that you use today. Yeah. Yes. I'm so grateful for it. I, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm not. I'm no, so no, thankful no. for all of my, my teachers and, all the, the I just thank you, Jesus, for giving me the opportunity to to learn this art form because I've le I learned dedication. I learned how to work. Mm -hmm. I know now. Um, I get hired every once in a while. This thing. Um, I just voiced um, young David in an animated animated movie. Oh, and wow. I learned it in like a day just because I know how to learn music quickly. So there were a lot of positives that came. Oh, praise God for those opportunities that God uses yeah. to build the schools. <laughs> hey, but now look, am I right in saying that 
you actually moved from uh, from opera almost by chance. You're walking along a street or something like that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, that's my favorite story. Oh, good. Um, so I'm living in New York. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was walking around, and I was honestly in a really dark place because I was like, Lord, what do I do with my life? I don't feel fulfillment in this operatic career. Like. I want to use music. I want to do it to glorify you somehow. Like, what do I do? Mm. And I'm walking around Brooklyn and I hear, Lord, I will lift mine eyes to the hills. It's this song called Total Praise um, by, oh gosh, Richard Smallwood. And I followed the sound and I ended up in this church. And I walk into the church, walk through the doors, and then boom, this big choir stands up and starts singing this 480 person choir and it ended up being um i don't know if you've heard of them but they're called the brooklyn tabernacle choir Mm -hmm. and they have the most incredible gospel um music and i just was like oh this is what i meant to do this is it wow and and so you walked into the church you saw the choir what happened next i was i had a just absolute revelation like everything clicked and fell into place and i was like you know what i'm gonna make music for you and you alone lord i don't want to do this for anyone else I don't want to do any sort of other thematic anything. I just wanted to be Jesus Christian all day long. And so I just began to pray daily. I actually have it. It's so funny that you asked me this question. I have this book where I wrote um, here. Yeah. I had a checklist in Brooklyn. Um, I, I wrote a, a bunch of checklists. And one of the things I put on here is um, just a goal would be to release a song on Christian radio. And the next one was to win a a Dove or a Grammy for a gospel album. And I have it, oh. literally, I wrote this, this is from like 2015 or 16. Oh, wow. And I um, I don't know why I have this here. That's so random. But that sort of began me understanding that I could maybe do yeah. this yeah. for a living. And God's just, again, opened these doors that I just never could have ever opened for myself. So I know it must be Him, you know? Oh, I love that. I love that you wrote down, if you're young out there, write down your vision, make it plain. God blesses it, hey, Bay. Oh, my goodness. He sure does. He he wants to give us the desires of our heart because yeah. I think he put them there. 100%. He's swift to remove the ones that aren't from him, but the ones that are, that are gnawing at you yeah. um, and pulling at your heartstrings, pay attention because it's God. That is so it's God. good advice. Praise God. Mm. Well, Bay, I'm going to take you forward in your story a little bit because you did start yeah, yeah. praising <laughs> and worshiping and getting involved, but then something yes. happened. Can you tell us about the roadblock that you hit? Yes. So in 2020, I found a tumor in my chest. It's a little lump. So I went to the doctor and had them check it out. And it turns out it was a benign tumor, no cancer. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. And I had to get the thing taken out. So I went in, got it taken out. And then I came out of the surgery, not able to talk um, with a really hoarse voice. And I went to a voice specialist and they told me that I would never sing again, that I had damage, um, irreparable damage from the intubation tube from the anesthesiologist. So I went into, you know, of course, that it'd be like if you were an athlete mm. and you lost a limb or something, yeah. or paint or losing a hand or whatever. Um, it, it was really devastating yeah. at first, but what's so crazy is now I'm so thankful for it, able to, to know him, but I got to know the creator for the first time in this. Yeah. And he sort of began to separate and teach me how to separate the me, you know, Bay Turner, a man from what I do really well, wow. which was music and singing. It kind of became my identity. And once I was able to remove my identity um, on my heart that I'm just a singer and, and I was able to kind of put back in its place that I'm worthy enough as just a son of God, yeah. um, that's when the healing began. And I was made totally brand new. That's sort of the reason why I wrote this song brand new. Yeah. Um, and yeah, here we are, better than I was before. That is incredible because it's an incredible story of healing. You, you went to another yeah. ENT, is that right? And what did you? What did they yeah. find? They found nothing. Which wow, was a miraculous thing. Yeah, the first ENT had all these charts and pictures and stuff of these nodules and rips and tears in my. You know, your vocal cords are supposed to come together like this, just yeah. kind of one on one parallel. And but mine was coming together like this it was wow. sort of handicapped, and um, it, you know, was made totally brand new. I, and I, it's funny because before I went to the second ENT, I knew that I knew that I knew that God had healed me. Crazy. It's like He gave me the confirmation before I even went to the doctor. Amazing! It was awesome. And it's been onward and upward from there. Is it right that you were yeah. on America's Got Talent? Yeah, that was sort of my first big thing out after I got my voice back. 
And yeah, it was, that was a crazy experience. That would be crazy. Experience. <laughs> but it was just a God, just a God thing. Just a sort of like God wink. Like, I see you. I'm here for you. I love you. And um, I'm here to just give you increase. I feel like he has so many plans for us yeah. to prosper us. It says it in his word to prosper us. And I think a lot of people miss out on their blessing because maybe they feel like they don't deserve it or they're not good enough or the dream is too big. But it's just not the case. I feel like if the dream's too small, it almost goes against the war- the the Lord. I think He wants yeah. you to dream big, you know. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And like you said, He gives you the desires of your heart for a reason. If they're in yeah. there, you nurture them until they come to pass. Incredible, yeah. Bay. So encouraging this morning. We're loving your new song, brand new. Uh, what's it been like? Your first release, a couple of months in. Is it exciting? Is it manic? Uh, it's so exciting. You know, it kind of just feels like I had a baby and just like gave it to the world and i don't know uh maybe i need to set up visitation with anyways this is getting weird um i i it's it's been i'm just so humble and so thankful and so grateful and if nothing ever happens from this point on i'm still humble and grateful i think this is just such a such an incredible opportunity and it's been you know I, it makes me even emotional to speak about because i think anybody that has an opportunity to be an influence whether that's at a school whether that's on the radio as a singer, whether that's as a plumber or an electrician or a businessman, if you have an opportunity to be an influence, you are blessed. Praise it is the, the most incredible thing to be able to say that I, my music has gone out and touched someone, helped someone. It's the most amazing thing. Oh, <laughs> praise God. Well, we are certainly loving it, Bay, and we hope that there's a lot more to come. I've got a bit yeah. of an idea for you to pitch, okay? So, um, okay, uh, okay you ready for it? So, um, cause yeah. our time's almost done, but I did want to pitch this idea. I noticed on Insta, you've been going out to uni campuses and you've been taking, yeah. you've got, been filming students listening to your new song and then getting them to put up, you know, what they thought of it. All the ones I've seen okay. have been positive. I haven't seen the negative yet, but I don't know if you realize, but it's, it's kind of when you do market research, it's a bit tough if you've got you standing in the middle of it. We've got you right there. Who's going to say that's horrible? But I was wondering, you need an Australian audience. We need we need to know what Aussies think. How about I go for you to a uni campus here and I do it here for you? I would love that. But only send me the ones that are like an eight or a I'll one. only send you the good ones for sure. We'll get okay. rid of anything bad. Okay, send me a DM. Let's do this thing. Okay. Well, I'm serious. Okay, brilliant. We'll be your Aussie on the ground for you, okay? And anything new, oh, yeah. we'd love to hear. Fun. Oh, okay. brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Well, we're now your official eyes on the ground here in Oz for you, Bay, and it's been such a <laughs> privilege having a chat. I've got to let you go, but I've just loved hearing your heart, and thank you so much for uh-huh. your music. We're looking forward to lots more to come. Oh, thank you, Phil. This has been great. Thank you for letting me spend your morning with you. On the Spotlight. We've been listening to a conversation that Fell had on Rise and Shine with emerging artist Bay Turner. Bay's song, Brand New, is now playing on Vision. Next time you hear it, think about the miracle that Bay experienced to be able to sing. We look forward to more music coming from him in the future. You can watch Fell's chat with Bay Turner by tapping the Watch tab in the Free Vision app. You'll find it in the Rise and Shine channel. My name is Jen Spiker and I look forward to joining you next time on The Spotlight as I share another podcast or video that deserves highlighting. For more great podcasts and videos like the one featured today, check out vision.org.au or the free Vision app.